By this time, I was in a state of excitement bordering on insanity, but I also had the cunning of the insane. Sitting there on the sofa, I managed to attune by series of stealthy movements, my masked lust to her guileless limbs. It was no easy matter to divert the little maiden's attention while I performed the obscure adjustments necessary for the success of the trick. Talking fast, lagging behind my own breath, catching up with it, mimicking a sudden toothache to explain the breaks in my pattern, and all the while keeping a maniac's inner eye on my distant golden goal, I cautiously increased the magic friction that was doing away in an illusional, if not factual sense, with the physically immovable, but psychologically very friable texture of the material divide, pajamas and robe, between the weight of two sunburnt legs, resting athwart my lap, in the hidden tumor of an unspeakable passion. Having, in the course of my pattern, hit upon something nicely mechanical, I recited, garbling them slightly, the words of a foolish song that was then popular, Oh, my Carmen, my little Carmen, something, something, those something nights, and the stars, and the cars, and the bars, and the barman. I kept repeating this automatic stuff and holding her under its special spell, special because of the garbling. And all the while, I was mortally afraid that some act of God might interrupt me, might remove the golden load and the sensation of which all my being seemed concentrated. And this anxiety forced me to work the first minute or two, more hastily than was consensual, with deliberately modulated enjoyment. The stars that sparkled, and the cars that parkled, and the bars, and the barmen, were presently taken over by her. Her voice stole and corrected the tune I had been mutilating. She was musical and apple sweet. And the cars and the bars and the barmen. Oh, my little Carmen, my little Carmen. And the stars and the cars and the bars and the barmen. Her legs twitched a little as they lay across my live lap. I stroked them. There she lolled in the right hand corner, almost a sprawl. Lola, the bobby soxer, devouring her immemorial fruit singing through its juice. The stars and the cars and the bars and the barmen. Oh, my little Carmen, my little Carmen. And the stars and the cars and the bars and the barmen. Oh, my little Carmen, my little Carmen. Losing her slipper. Oh, my little Carmen. Rubbing the heel of her slipperless foot in its sloppy ankle against the pile of old magazines heaped on my left on the sofa. And every movement she made, every shuffle and ripple, helped me to conceal and to improve the secret system of tactile correspondence between beauty and beast. Between my gagged, bursting beast and the beauty of her dimpled body in its innocent cotton frock.
little bit older. Her stars and cars and garment might have turned a little bit into something like this. Definitely don't want to be. 
haze one. And all that's left is the stars that sparkle. And the cars that sparkle. My little Carmen. Oh, my little Carmen. 